Clearly, I'm not a music teacher. Last week, we had a look at percussion instruments and the factors that play a role in changing the pitch in a percussion instrument. For example, the size of the drum, as well as the tightness of the skin over the drum. And this time, we're going to have a look at wind instruments. Now, if I'm going to play the recorder, that's a wind instrument, listen to how the pitch change. As I release each time a finger, the pitch increases. So what's the science behind this? The reason for that is, every time when I've closed all these little holes, there's a lot of air trapped inside. So that means the vibrations need to move through all of that air, making that actually slower, the vibrations. That giving us a lower pitch. Every time when I release a finger, the amount of air that is trapped gets less creating the vibrations to be faster, creating a higher pitch. So if the, a lot of air is locked in, I'm going to create a low pitch. If a little bit of air is locked in, I'm going to get a higher pitch. So let's try again. Now, oh, wrong side. Now I'm going to work from a lot of air, low pitch, less air, Yes, sir. Higher pitch. So that's the science behind this. Less air trapped in, creating faster vibrations, creating a higher pitch. But if we have a look at activity 4.9, we can actually create this sort of by using glass bottles. So I'm going to use the glass bottles I used to feed this time. And they are also filled with different amounts of water. Why do I fill it with different amounts of water? The reason for it is the same as recorder. As you can see, there's not a lot of air. And if I blow wind over the bottle, it will cause the air to vibrate. Now, because there's only a little bit of air trapped, it will create faster vibrations. So I predict that this one will actually have a high pitch. As we go down, more air is being trapped meaning the vibrations slowing down. As it slows down, we're going to create a lower pitch. Now, I'm not the best in it. I've tried my utmost best. So let's have a listen. A high pitch. Now let's have a listen at the next one. With no water, so a lot of air is trapped. So that's a low vibration. So you can try this experiment at home as well and have a play around. But please, believe me, it's not as easy as it looks. Guys, thank you. So let's quickly have a look at what we've learned today. We've learned that in a wind instrument, the amount of air trapped will actually influence my pitch. A lot of air being trapped means I'm gonna have slower vibrations and a lower pitch. If I only have a little bit of air trap, I'm going to have faster vibrations and a higher pitch. And that is sound. This is my last session on sound for you guys. Thank you for joining me and go make some music.